leader of the Conservative Party speaking. And Canadians have been asked to stay at home. We also know that this crisis has hit our economy hard and that the months ahead will be very difficult. And while we are all aware that no more needs to be done, and I've heard of isolated incidents of people not following public health advice, overwhelmingly, Canadians have risen to the challenge and shown the kind of care and compassion that we as a country are known for. Now more than ever, Canadian families, small businesses, and especially healthcare workers need our support. That is why Conservatives agreed to bring back the House of Commons with only a small number of members present this week to pass the emergency measures that the Prime Minister announced. All parties recognize that these are unprecedented times and that urgent action is needed to support Canadians who are struggling. Today we are focused on getting that support out the door and into the hands of Canadians so that no one has to worry about putting food on their table or paying their rent. We will also continue to ask the tough questions on behalf of Canadians and put forward constructive solutions to ensure that no one falls through the cracks. Conservatives called for stronger action to protect our borders and the government responded. We asked about the impact of the border closure on the temporary foreign worker and seasonal agricultural worker programs and the government made exemptions. We asked tough questions about airport screening and the government finally responded. We called on the government to stop the flow of illegal border crossers into Canada, particularly at Roxham Road, and the government responded. We have also called on the government to increase support for small businesses and workers, and I remain hopeful that the government will implement our suggestions. Today, Conservatives would like to focus on Canadians and passing the measures the Prime Minister announced last week. Any conversation about new government powers should not get in the way of passing this much needed assistance. Canadians are counting on us. La semaine dernière, quand le gouvernement a annoncé de nouvelles mesures pour soutenir les Canadiens et les Canadiennes affectés par le COVID-19, COVID Conservatives immediately indicated that we would move quickly to pass them. We know that this crisis has touched the lives of Canadians from coast to coast to coast. Des dizaines de milliers de travail ont été mis à pied. Almost a million Canadians have already been laid off, stores and restaurants have been asked to close their doors, and Canadians have been asked to stay at home. We also know that this crisis has hit our economy hard and that the months to come will be difficult. And while we are all aware that more needs to be done, and we've all heard of isolated incidents of people not following public health advice, fortunately, the overwhelming Majority of Canadians have risen to the challenge and shown the kind of care and compassion that we as a country are known for. Now more than ever, Canadian families, small businesses, and especially healthcare workers need our support. That's why Conservatives agreed to come back to the House of Commons with only a limited number of members present this week to adopt the emergency measures that the Prime Minister announced. All parties recognize that these are unprecedented times and that urgent action is needed to support Canadians who are struggling. Today, we focus on getting that support out the door and into Canadians' hands so that no one has to worry about putting food on the table or paying the rent. We will also continue to ask tough questions on Canadians' behalf and to put forward constructive solutions to ensure that no one falls through the cracks. Conservatives called for stronger action to protect our borders, and the government responded. We asked about the impact of the border closure on the temporary foreign worker and seasonal agricultural worker programs. And the government made exemptions. We asked tough questions about airport screening, and the government finally responded. We called on the government to stop the flow of illegal border crossers into Canada, 
particularly at Roxham Road. And last week, the government listened. We also called on the federal government to increase support for small businesses and workers. And I remain hopeful that the government will implement our suggestions. A crisis is a time for all party cooperation, not a time for government overreach. Today, Conservatives would like to focus on Canadians and passing the measures the Prime Minister announced last week. Any conversation about new government powers should not get in the way of passing this much-needed assistance. Canadians are counting on us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Scheer, uh, 